Welcome back to Season 1, Episode 5 of TVGP's Critical Misses. Season mm -hmm. 1, where we're going all the way through the Fast Saga. And we're up to 2011's Fast 5. I'm your host, Boston. Joining me, as always, is Moonpeer. Hello. Moonpeer, who just hit his hand very badly and is in a, a good amount mm -hmm. of pain. It's, these are the bit. real risks we take when we're recording audio. It's not a, not yep. a cushy job, people. Yep, this yeah. is a, a dangerous environment, you know, a desk with a computer, you never know yeah. what might happen. Yeah, a side-swiping car could just come right Drive through, through the second floor of my building. <laughs> hey man, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Do you have precious jewels and gems in your house? I don't, but okay. I, I we do have some cars with automated robot things on the street, so that's uh -huh. a reference that you won't get for like another four movies. There you go. <laughs> well, before that, we're going to talk about uh, our thoughts about starting Fast Five. Uh, mm -hmm. So I want to start this episode off okay. by basically saying I'm trying my best to not overhype this, because Fast okay. Five kind of has been overhyped. It seems like it's... A lot of people's, if not their favorite, it's like, ooh, Fast Five is so good. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to lie, but I'm going to show you, uh, for the audio listeners, Boston can uh, tell me what my note says there for Fast Five. <laughs> Swear word, <laughs> yes! <laughs> With a double underline as well, just yep. to just to make the point. So I'm not trying to overhype this. No, yeah. Uh, but I, I have heard, we talked last uh, episode about... You know, the, the Phoenix had to die in oh, Fast oh. Ampersand Furious so that Fast Five could rise again. And it seems like, hey, yeah. man, this is the this is the Fast and Furious stuff we really wanted. Yep. And, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Start into this movie. <laughs> oh, chef kisses all around. Um, quick notes as well, by the way. Sure. There's so many little things in this movie. Okay. Um, I cannot wait for the, your notes. <laughs> yeah. You will have a note probably within the first 20 seconds of this movie, like, okay. starting. I like it. Mm, no, maybe not 20 seconds, because that has to happen first. Maybe within the first two minutes, you'll have a note, which I will make okay. a note of now, because I already know about it for next week. <laughs> okay. Um, as a side, Justin Lin, the director of this movie, also the director of the last movie, mm. also the director of the next movie, I believe, mm. Uh, he was not happy with the fans' reactions to the use of CGI in Fast 4. Sure. So this is a whole bunch of physical cars. Nice. That's what so I like. there is minimal use of CGI in this movie. Yeah, there we go. No uh, tunnel racing. I like it. No tunnel racing. <laughs> no stupid can't see anything except for the video game Red Barrels. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Get ready for some real cars. Uh, that That is the best-selling point. Yes, 100%. But tell me about this movie, Boston. Tell me. The, the only question that I have for you is, is this the Fast and Furious movie that has the dragging the uh, bank vault? Yes. Okay. I wish you didn't know about that, but yes, that is that, this movie. That's literally the only thing I know because every time people talk about Fast Crowd, they're like, oh, the bank vault stuff. And let's, like, that's the first thing out of everyone's mouth is like, oh, the bank vault. It's like, I don't, I literally know nothing else other than that. I just know that at mm -hmm. some point someone drags a, a bank vault. Yes. And it's uh, this is apparently. also the movie where they decide to embrace the law. Right, yeah, this is our start of, this is our Avengers tying up mm -hmm. phase one. This is the phase one of the Fast franchise, uh, right. big big movie. So right. get ready for so many references. I like it. So many references. But that, that's that been a good part about us watching uh, the movies sort of sequentially like this, is that... And in we quite should... a short period of time, too. Yeah, because we should start catching, uh, I should start catching some of that stuff. I'm sure there's... Some stuff that uh, I'd probably miss unless I'd watch it, you know, two or three times. But yeah, uh, I'm excited to see them start tying all that stuff together. There's a, or, like, or attempting to. I think there's like two or three in this which are real. They don't even really acknowledge it. It's just a little wink and nod mm. kind of thing, which is a reference to previous ones. Okay. And those are my favorite ones. And the yeah. first one happens really early in the movie too. So okay. It's like That's one of those true fans things where it's like you've watched those you've watched the first four about forty times, you're gonna get this this uh -huh. 
A hundred percent. Do we know about the, for lack of a better way to phrase this, the stars of this movie? Uh, no. Um, I don't. I actually don't know who's in this. Okay, so obviously Paul Walker and uh, Vin Vincent Diesel, Diesel are back. Yes. Yes. Yeah. The big two. Mm-hmm. This is also the first appearance in the Fast franchise of the biggest drama behind closed doors. Oh, okay. Because this is the first appearance of The Rock. Oh, right. Dwayne The Rock Johnson makes his Fast debut in this movie. Okay. That's the exciting. real drama doesn't start until the next movie. Okay. And it gets really bad at the movie after that. Is that why he's sort of been pushed off to the Hobbs and Shaw series? Well, let's just say my theory is he came in for this movie. Mm -hmm. The fans received him well. And my presumption is he got a three-movie contract from it. Sure. And so, I mean, when, when The Rock is received well in an action movie, they're like, come on, come on in, man. We got plenty mm -hmm. more movies for you. So here is a three-movie contract. Sure. Let's do six. Let's do seven. Oh no, everybody hates you and you hate everybody. <laughs> what can we do to finish off The Rock's contract? Let's get without... Jason Statham in here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> He'll save it. <laughs> so, yeah. There is yeah. there is some drama down the line, which honestly okay. I'll probably go into more in depth on 7, which sure. is the, the last mainline appearance of The Rock. But oh boy, is that drama something hilarious. <laughs> some good tasty drama for us. But the weird thing is, it seems to have balanced itself out, and now there is a mutual respect slash disdain at the same time between okay. the people the drama was caused by. Sure, just, I know I don't like you, you don't like me, we're just gonna stay away from each other and things will be fine. Exactly. Right. That seems to be where it goes. But right. let's try not to think about the drama, because this is Fast Five, right. and this is before drama existed. The return of real-life cars. <laughs> mm -hmm. The return of real life cars. Yep. We don't know who's starring in it, other than the two main main guys and, and the Rock now. Right. Um, let's I'm assuming see. they're gonna find some way to bring Letty back to life, or like she was in witness protection, working for the FBI underground. Wink. Whoops, we made a fifth one. <laughs> okay, so there is an after credit scene in this movie. Okay, because there wasn't in four, wasn't right? in the last one, right? Apparently there was in, two, in one, which I never have seen in my life, and that's fine. I, I will have to go back and watch that, I guess. I think the end of one is, it's Vin Diesel in Puerto Rico, which doesn't okay. happen until three movies later. But that's fine. Ferrari, whatever. Power. Vroom! <laughs> yes. He's back! Um, the Let's get this out of the way right now. The after credit stinger in this is, a, it basically, it's a picture of Letty. So oh, she is... Okay. Not in this movie. Right. Okay. So I will let you watch the after credit stinger and see the full effect of that. Okay. Um, but Letty is not in this movie, unfortunately. Okay. Interesting. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other expectations I have of this. I'm very excited to watch it. I will probably watch it tomorrow night because I usually end up edit finishing editing all this stuff way too late to mm -hmm. stay up and watch a movie. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to, I just got a new phone, uh, which has a 4k HDR screen. So I'm a little excited to watch, watch so it on your TV. Watch I'm it gonna, on your TV. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. It just, it, there's very little opportunities for me to yeah, be without child. Or young. Yeah. Cause I don't, she doesn't really like a lot of violence in shows. Um, mm -hmm. Which I, I think she would just be like, whatever, I'm going to go somewhere else. But the swearing is, she's three, so I don't want her to be like, yeah, I'm Vin Diesel, bleep, bleep, bleep. It's like, oh, God. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think there is that much bad language in this. There is a couple of swears here and there, but sure. not a whole lot. This is mostly, this, it, it does have some violent moments, we'll say. Yeah. Car um, car violence. <laughs> <laughs> also, people on people accent, also people and people violence like well, a lot last of it. movie we saw you know vin diesel just pick up uh brian o'connor like a rag doll and just woo <laughs> yep uh, yeah. this is probably the start of the superhero as well like okay. these aren't normal human beings kind of right thing. is the first four 
were fairly kind of based in fairly reality. grounded. Like at the very least, this person could probably do this thing in the car. Like the mm-hmm. the outside of car stuff you we talked about at the beginning of last movie. Uh, uh, Paul Walker just lands on a dude on a car and they're both okay. It's sort of like, hmm, mm-hmm. eh, that's probably not as great, but okay, it's an action movie. I can I can suspend my disbelief for a little bit. Yeah, but. this is where the uh, the punching and kicking of people starts a lot. Oh, uh, okay, right. The real the real fist fighting begins. Yes, this yeah. is where it goes from a car action movie to uh, an action. Well, a car action movie with a little bit of fighting in it. Yeah, that sounds okay to me. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, all right. Any uh, last notes here before we go watch the movie? I really don't want to say anything else because a, anything else I say, I'll be like, oh, at this moment and that moment, and we can do that all <laughs> next. Week. This cool thing and that cool thing and the fifteen other things. Mm-hmm. Right. All right. Well, on that note, let's go watch the movie. Mm-hmm. We have gone. We have watched the film Fast Five, 2011's Fast Five, and we are mm-hmm. back here to chat about it. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is my favorite quote of this movie, as I am want to do, and probably this, my f- favorite quote is, of the whole franchise. Is this the one that you said you were going to open the show with? I did, and I took a screenshot of it so I could remember it. It is The Rock saying, and above all else, we don't ever, ever let them get into cars. Yep. <laughs> if you want, If you want something to encapsulate how dumb and incredible these movies are it's that line of these federal agents being like hey man don't let these dudes into cars if you do we're boned it's like that's, yep. that's so dumb and incredible and yep gosh okay so starting from the uh really the, quick though um i've yeah. got a line i took a guess at what this line was going to be oh, because okay. we've talked about this <laughs> Um, I, I thought it was going to be, we're going to need a team from Paul Walker, which would have been <laughs> about the time you texted me, would have been about the time that line showed up. Yeah. Uh, so instead I wrote, we're going to need two precision podcasters who never stop recording. <laughs> oh no, that's good. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, that'll be the, uh, that'll be the, uh, on the poster for Critical Misses season one. Yep. Uh, let's start from the beginning though. I yes. think so far the best title card sequence, they flipped a bus the bus lands and boom, fast five. Yep. <laughs> it's so <bad. laughs> And the immediate pickup from the end of four. Immediate yes. collection. It's like four ended with the cliffhanger tease kind of thing. Yep. Five starts with that exact same scene. And my favorite thing is that isn't even the banger of a scene I was talking about the movie starting with. That comes no. up real shortly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, minute uh, two, two minutes, six seconds, Pert Happily shows up. Uh, happily two minutes yeah. in there you go you're, you heard with purd uh, a really great he showed up and i was like oh that's what moon wanted me to to keep an yep. eye out for yeah all right that's the real banger of the intro there um mm-hmm. i <laughs> i wrote so this is what a fast saga movie with a budget looks like huh like yes as soon a thousand as percent. they're showing um the two of them driving through Rio, uh, mm-hmm. O'Connor and Mia. Um, there's like a score, Brian. And a helicopter shot, and yeah, like, like there's like you can tell they've done some post production on the the film. It's sort of like oh oh okay, mm-hmm. yeah, like especially after the lows of four, bring yep. it up to five. We're like we're making a film. It's like oh well, hello. Hi there. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah, How are you doing? nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you, budget. Um, yeah, uh, Vince is back, which was yep. not a character I would have ever guessed to return in the saga. Did you notice the little touch with Vince? The mm. tiny little touch? No. His right arm is absolutely covered in scars. Oh, um, interesting. From where he got the metal band wrapped around his arm in the first movie. Right. And tore up his arm. So when he's driving, I think he's driving one of the one of the cars in the beginning, and he shifts a gear, and you can just see these deep red scars all over his arm. Oh, man. Well, now i got to go watch it for a third time. <laughs> <laughs> um, all of that stuff is fine, and of course there's one last super easy car heist they're going to do. And has 
my favorite uh, Dom entrance where the side of that train car falls and he just struts in out of the oh, sunlight. The Jesus entrance. Yeah, and it's just like, oh man, that was super cool. <laughs> uh huh. So yeah, so I mean, they meet up with Vince. I love the fact yeah. that Vince is like, Mia, hi, Buster. Yeah, Buster. It's very much like a new and thing. my audio is gone for you. So just give me two seconds while I wibble my thumbs a second. Okay. And switch this over. I'm still recording. Everything is fine. We're going to pretend this didn't happen while Boston writes his notes. <laughs> um, do, 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 do. Uh, we're going to switch out to this. No, don't turn off, you stupid thing. Uh, da, 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 da. Everything is falling apart. Da, 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 Technical da, difficulties. Da, da, da. Switch you over to you. And... Mic check. Check, check, check. There we go. Perfect. Hello. Now you are back. Do I still, still sound robot-y? No. Now you sound okay. really good. Fantastic. Sounding good, looking good. All right, starting in three, two, one. We're back after just a touch of technical difficulties because computers hate us. Uh, yes. We're talking about uh, the uh, beginning buster. We're talking about yeah. him greeting O'Connor. Um, I... I, f I feel like it makes a lot of sense that, you know, O'Connor and Mia are on the run and mm -hmm. everybody's split up and Vince is sort of like, hey man, I got a job for you and you sort of can't say no. So yeah, and you, you kind of owe me because I keep throwing the past in your face. Right, like I um, had to escape from the US to Rio thanks to yep. somebody. <laughs> so, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, it's, right. it's all your fault kind of thing. Uh, also, we find out in this scene that Mira is pregnant. Yes, uh, if the because uh, there's a really good shot of her shoveling food in her face, and O'Connor is sort of eating, not not slowly but not quickly, and mm -hmm. then quickly afterwards, she's like, "Oh, a baby!" And uh, the Vince's wife is like, "Does he know?" And it's like, "Oh, okay, mm -hmm. yep, yeah, makes sense." But yes, um, moving on to the actual banger of the start of this movie. Oh, the train man. heist. What, what, what a hell of a scene. Like I there's so there's so much good stuff in the scene and there's so many incredible shots even of the the tow truck thing that they're driving just sort of bouncing along the hills. Oh yeah, the um the the welder truck that yep. like that's just pure hydraulics like that thing is yep. just a hundred percent hydraulics and when it hits the jump and it lands and it's like doing a front for, yep. for uh, like a stoppy going forward and it's just like <laughs> okay that's yep. a great vehicle yeah uh and it's so funny because it's it, it seems like it is tailor-made for this specific heist in a really dumb way uh -huh. um i i like that I like this whole scene. I like them yanking the cars out of the train and just like dumping them on the ground and everyone going their separate ways. I like mm -hmm. O'Connor totally screwing up the job by like T-boning the train with this hydraulic thing. And <laughs> it goes wrong before that because it's sure, like, yeah. like they, they want the GT40. Um, and Vince understands Puerto Rican um, yeah. uh, or Portuguese as it is. Um, and he's like, no, no, we're going to figure out exactly what's going on here. Technically, the job would have been fine if he hadn't have done that. It yep. would have been a fine call if they would have just given the cars to him. But something was weird. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And I like Mia's yeah. answer of, I look better in this one anyway. <laughs> yep. But I, yeah, the, um, the, the, the fight on, on the hydraulic truck with Walker and, you know, everybody's getting into it. pretty good fight. It, I absolutely. Too, I'm gonna kind of ruin this movie for you a little bit now, because <clears throat> I love that I listened to the. I watched this movie three times this week. I know you mm -hmm. watched it twice. Yep. I did once watch, once background, and once with the giant bomb commentary on. Oh, and okay. Vinny has kind of ruined this for me a little bit because <laughs> okay. he refers to the start of this movie as an uncharted movie, a sure, middle-aged yeah. man in jeans hanging off the back of a truck <laughs> chasing down a train. Sure, through a desert. And the Rock Squad as the Wildlands crew. <laughs> All right, yeah, I can mm -hmm. I can agree with that. Um, I but, I thought the train heist was really great until they escape, 
and they're like, yeah, we're racing away from the explosion. Oh my God, there's a cliff. And I'm like, I'm just like, yeah, that was awesome. Oh my God. I just, there's something about that shot where it's like, we got away. Nope. Nope. That's, yep. we, just, we have messed up. <laughs> I love the shot of them getting off the car. Like, that's a really cool shot because you do yep. get the weightlessness of them. Like, Paul's on the back and Vin's in the front. And they're just like, oh, we're just going to float out because the... the yeah, and yeah, the goal. car's dropping out of frame. It's mm-hmm. really good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I I think the Rock's intro is really interesting, uh, aside from my new favorite quote. Mm-hmm. Be- because he's so... His portrayal is so antithetical to the rest of the films because he's this fast talking like you do this you do that go do this i'm get me results he's a military man very much so and it's really interesting to kind of there's this easy comparison between the family who's kind of uh-huh. relaxed we're gonna do a heist but it's gonna be kind of cool and we're gonna have some fun and this dude who's like shooting from the hip like pew, 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 get me this lady get yeah. him, stay out of my way uh that sort of thing and i think i think where that doesn't work in Too Fast, Too Furious, I think it really works in this one. You mean with the bad, the bad guy in two being like trying to be hyper serious, but also like not really pulling it off? Yeah, and I, I think part of the problem that both of us had with Too Fast, Too Furious was everybody's speaking too fast. So it's almost on top of each other. Mm-hmm. And. I was worried that would happen with The Rock here because that's how his character is. But I think there's something about it that works because the rest of the people in the movie are very subdued. And Mm -hmm. here's this guy who's, you're right, kind of the bad guy. Not the main bad guy, but um, who's doing this fast-talking stuff. And I think it it somehow really works. Yeah. His performance in this is incredible. I would say his... Number one, his entrance is incredible. Yeah. Second best entrance of the series, in my mm-hmm. opinion. Um, the best entrance for a character in the series actually comes in seven. That's okay. the best entrance. Okay. Um, but his acting in this is so deliberate. Yeah. Everything he does in this movie feels like it's measured and it's done with experience and something he feels like he needs to do to get the job done. He's which in is what, command. Yeah. Yeah, like his orders to everybody. Like his, he trusts his gut. But yeah, he's a very by the book military guy. Yeah, it's really easy to see that against the happy go lucky, let's just improvise kind of thing <laughs> right. of the of the crew kind of thing. It's yeah. just like okay, cool. And not to mention, he this is the start of Big Rock. Yes, where... he's huge. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It, it's so funny, like, when him and Vin Diesel are fighting, Vin Diesel is big, and The Rock is just, like, a mountain of meat. Mm-hmm. Man. Uh, the Rock is 6'5", I think, and okay. he is just a wall of muscle. <laughs> really? And, like, everybody's sweaty in this movie, and, like, every time there's up in, hit in his face, it's just, like, this sweaty wall of meat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's so good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we we do actually uh, get the start of the we're a team of superheroes thing with the Vin Diesel and Paul Walker being caught thing. Because Vin Diesel just snaps those handcuffs like they don't even exist. <laughs> right, <yeah. laughs> Which I was like, okay, so this is how you're setting it up for going forward. So a slow, yeah. gradual build up to we're really just all Captain America kind of thing. Well, and there is, I think there's another interesting part about this is when... The Rock, that's... Uh, he's Hobbs, right? Yes, Luke Hobbs. Okay. Um, when he's first introduced, some of his squad is like, why are we chasing these two, like, car thieves? Like, what it's is happening? Helena. Helena asks that of him. She's like, that's something right. doesn't make sense. Like, they run when they ought to hide. They, ought to hide. they yeah. stay when they ought to leave. They, 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 something's off here. They, I don't think they killed those DEA agents on the, on the, on the train. Mm-hmm. And the rush is like, I don't care. Throws <laughs> right. the file away and is like, these are two names that hit my desk, and that's what it's going to take. Well, it, when when his crew is asking him at the beginning, I think it's really interesting because he lays out. You, you sort of 
it's easy to forget the laundry list of felonies that the two of them have <laughs> have committed and it's really funny because he's like okay o'connor used to be a federal agent and it is going to be one step ahead of you yada 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 and here's this other dude who was stealing cars for like 20 years broke out of jail twice and doesn't really care about anything it's like yep. oh, right they are kind of badasses yeah you're right mm-hmm Kind of forgot about all that. <laughs> it gives them a little bit of credence to how they can pull this stuff off. Yeah. Like it's a really, a really cool character building to use the, the wrestling terms. They build each other up to make a big money, like rivalry that like yeah. turns into a big money team. Right, but right. we'll get to that eventually. <laughs> right. Um, I liked Hernan Reyes as the bad guy. He wasn't mm-hmm. in the movie a ton, but had that like that quiet menacing other than when he like shoots the messenger at that one point um the rest of the movie he's kind of quietly menacing where it's like i run this joint and someone is messing with my money and you're going to do something about it yeah um i i especially love like we like day escape we get the favela chase which mm. Is a great scene and a great introduction of The Rock and his uh, ghost, his Wildland squad because they like take out all of the. <laughs> the Rock just the... runs through a wall, <laughs> <It's> like <laughs> chasing Vin Di- Vince Di- Vincent Diesel. He just busts through a wall and he's like, "Hey, man, I'm here." Yeah, and you got like the rooftop running, um, and Paul Walker doing a whole bunch of his own stunts there. I think yep. Mia did a lot of hairs too in that situation. Nice. Um, I love the female representation in this movie. All yeah. really good, strong women, and I absolutely adore it. What's the, um, the police agent, the Rio police agent's name? Helena. Yeah, she's dope. I like yes. her a lot. She's just like, hey man, I've had a real tough time lately, and I'm a cop to fix things, and I guess we'll catch her, these people, but maybe th- in traditional Fast Saga <laughs> <laughs> ways... Maybe they're not the bad guys. Wait a minute. Yep. Uh, it turns out it, it turns out it was the family you made along the way. That's that's right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, now we get the the the. I love the fact that they they do the crew montage, which is one yeah. of my favorite moments in this movie. Where it's just like, okay, let's get the crew in. Here is a snapshot of all of these people from all of these other movies, yep. and that's where we start getting everything tied in. Vince was a hint. It's like, right. okay, Vince is back. What else the are they going to do in this movie? It's like, when are you going to give that car back to Martin Luther? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as soon That's, as you give uh, Rick James his jacket back. Yep. Yeah. Those I th- I thought that whole introduction to each other scene was really great because a couple people shooting the poops with the, each other that don't know each other, then Roman hits on Giselle, which was a giant mistake. It's just really great, and like. You can tell there's a little bit of mistrust from people that don't know each other, and but everybody kind of comes together once they figure out there's about a bajillion dollars on the uh-huh. line. <laughs> yeah, Roman. I think Roman does so good in this movie. Like, yeah, he was really okay good. in two, but he, him, and Taj in this steal the show because 100%. their relationship is so good. Him, him and, coming back when he hears how much money is on the line is a genuinely funny moment. Yeah, I know we just met and all, but sometimes I'd be I'd be thinking stupid, and my mouth <laughs> yeah. got ahead of my brain. A hundred million, a hundred million. It's like so good when he goes into the police station too to to bring the FBI it's a box. It's a yeah. tan. You ever heard of a tan? That whole scene is is really good. I love the, I love the setup for that, where it's just like they're gonna go in, and they all. It's like thirty seconds of silence while they all just look at him as the person who's gonna go in to do it, and he's like, <laughs> "Why me?" And like, "Cause you got the biggest mouth." <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's so good. And as my wife pointed out, because I was I, she watched this a little bit with me, I didn't make this connection. But when they do the first heist and they go in and then they get all the money at the first house and they burn it, yeah, they do that. Because he can't take it back. Like, right. by it's, burning yeah. the money, it's not a case of he finds them and he gets his money back. It's a case of that money is gone. You have lost yep. that money, period. What are you going to do now? Well, and it, I think it shows... I think that is such a great story writing thing because it shows that, number one, the the crew, the family is not messing around. 
And they're not stupid. Yeah, and the second thing is they're not dumb. They're going to burn the money and they're they're making sure that Reyes... Oh, excuse me. I got to sneeze. Um, is going to funnel the money where they need him to because he can't afford to have them burn 10 Every more one of giant them. mountains of money. Yeah. It's a really clever touch. Of course, yep. they don't realize that where it's going to get moved to, which is fantastic. <laughs> I, I I had no... The only thing I knew about this movie was the the vault heist. And I, when they show that scene where it's like, it's in a police station, dude. I was like, oh, no. Like, that's oh, a really... Oh. There, there's, there's always... That there's always that great twist in heist movies where it's like this is going super well, that totally got messed up. That's really and that bad. happens like four times in this. Like it's yep. it's like a setup issue, setup issue, setup issue. Yeah, I, I like I love the fact that it gets moved to a police station and they start planning it. They do the whole vault like let's send it Roman in with the remote control car and he yep. doesn't shut up while he while Tej is trying to find it. Again, Tej is the I'll, worst driver. <laughs> yes. I, a little note here from the uh, Giant Bomb one. When they watched this, it was like, I think it's like Vinny, Dan, and Alex. And mm -hmm. Alex said, Tej driving this car is like me trying to play, play Mega Man while you guys won't shut the hell up right next to me. <laughs> like, That's great. Okay. Really That's good. good. Um, yeah. I think Gersman, during the regular Bombcast, pointed this out, and I have never got this out of my head. Because mm -hmm. they get they get the tactning, they get the poop explosion, they, yep. you know... They they get in. They can't hack the thing, hack the camera. So they need to basically operate around that. So they're like, okay, so we're gonna need fast cars. Yeah. And they go to the street racing meet meetup. They, <laughs> which is a flashback to the Fast and Furious yeah. of all. I re I remember talking about it. I think in last episode, where it's like I'm really kind of done with these like scantily clad women dressing in a back alley, and then. I feel like they very much address that where they show that whole traditional scene and then Vin goes, ah, it's good to be home. Just like, mm -hmm. all right, oh, fine, okay. <laughs> yeah, but my favorite thing about that, thank you, Jeff Gersman, for this, is they go through the thing, they get the setup, they meet the local dude who runs, they, they meet the, the Vin Diesel of Brazil. <laughs> right. Um, and they're like, okay, car for car, legend versus legend, mm. snap cut. Blue car is now parked in the driveway. It's it's so good because you know what happened. You don't need to <laughs> see it. You you've seen this for four movies. It's like yeah, of course he won it. And this smug jerk is coming back with this blue car. Like I got it. Like mm -hmm. was this ever in, uh, in doubt? And then the car's now fast enough. They need more cars. Snap cut. There's another one. Snap cut. There's another one. Yep. Snap cut. There's another one. It's <laughs> yeah. such. A, it's like we have moved on from the street racing scene. Right. We are now a more serious subject matter. Yep. In this case, heist movies. They're um, just collecting so cars. <laughs> it's it's such a good little evolution of the series to be like, this used to be all we were about. Yep. Now it doesn't even matter in the grand scheme yep. of things. You know what happens. We don't it's need like to show it. Chef's kiss to that moment where it's just like, let's just not bother with this whole section. Yep. Oh man. And I the I don't I think we're right about there, but the um the police car heist was also really great because it's sort of like we're just gonna go in there and we're gonna steal four police cars and no one's really gonna stop us because this is what we do yep uh, well, we missed the palm print which was Giselle and Han's flirty moment um, <laughs> yep which uh, full credit was due Han is amazing in this movie as well yeah like, he, he, Han is the he best plays thing that, in three he plays that really subdued role really well where it's like he's seen it all he's been there before he's just he's he's just a cool dude Mm -hmm. I I love that bit. You get the "This is Brazil" moment where they put the tracker on Hobbs's car because they're trying to avoid him. Yes. Uh, by luring him to the street racing scene, it's like you think you're in America. This is Brazil, and everyone <laughs> points the guns at him and blah blah blah. That's but right. Yes. The Helena Vin Diesel scene happens as well. Yes. Where he goes and gets the cross back from her, which he dropped in the favela chase way long ago. Right. There is a Letty slash husband discussion there. Yes, um, which I um, thought was yeah. really good. Yeah, it's it's a really good like character building moment for Helena, and it also gives her a connection to the family that she probably wouldn't have otherwise. And it's a oh, really true. nice little touch because it's shared trauma between her and Vin Diesel. They both had someone they care about lose their life trying to do a good thing, right? You know, 
But yeah, the cop car chase. Let's just jump into the impound lot, steal four cars. <laughs> and my favorite ride. thing <laughs> is they do the million dollar quarter mile and Roman turns his sirens on. Yes, he's the only one that's just like, we're doing something super illegal. I'm going to have some fun. He's on a megaphone in the street talking about <laughs> making a heist. But a million dollar quarter mile and he's yelling it to the whole neighborhood. Uh-huh. My favorite thing, the sirens coming on, was because they were pro they were the prototype charges for the next year of release. And that uh -huh. was a bug in that charger. They just came on completely randomly <laughs> and they left it in the movie because it was Roman's car. That's great. Oh, man. People who understand these characters and just the right place to make it stupid. Yeah. And that's a perfect place to make it stupid. Yeah. And I like that Vin Diesel lets O'Connor win. Win, and he doesn't yeah. notice. Yeah. It's, and then he's, like, really pissed about it. Mm-hmm. No, 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 you don't get to take that away from me. It's like, yes, right. we do. Because it's 100% what happened. Oh, man. Um, let's see, what, what's next? Uh, yes, Hobbs finds them. Yes. He just, <laughs> just <laughs> full-on busts in, like, hey, what are you guys doing? <laughs> mm -hmm. And literally crushes Vin Diesel's car to like an aluminum can. Yeah. Like the classic like charger that he's always got is just smushed. Yeah. Flat against the wall. And we get the two sides of beef fighting each other. <laughs> just smacking into each other. <laughs> yeah. like, I love that they're, they're like fighting in a room and everyone else is in the background through a window in the other room just watching like. My god, this is terrible. We can't stop this. I love the fact that Vin Diesel is losing until he sees that Mia and um, Walker didn't get away, and then he gets family strength. He does, yes. <laughs> and then starts to win. Yep. It's just like, oh, that's so good. Great yeah. fight scene, fantastic. Like, literally just every time I hear them punch each other, it's just two slabs of beef getting slapped <laughs> against each other. Yep. It's, it's great. <laughs> I also love the fact that The Rock does do wrestling moves here. He does the kip up, he does the spear, he does like a German suplex and all kinds of yeah. stuff. It's like, embrace it, dude. That's perfect. Yeah, lean mm -hmm. into it, man. Like, that's who you who you are slash were. Like, mm -hmm. what do people want to see? Uh, and then, yeah, they, everyone gets arrested and we get the ambush. And Wildlands get taken out. <laughs> Boy, that's a hell of a scene. Even the second time watching it, it's like, this is, this is pretty brutal. That. And it's dark, too. Dark yeah. in a way that the series hasn't really been before. Just like, hey, we're gonna shoot all of these dudes, and then I'm gonna... We're gonna blow up, like, a bunch of them. If yep. that if he, getting shot to death wasn't enough. And it's like the guy who's, like, barely alive, sticking it with his, like, half out of the car, and then a grenade goes, ding, ding, ding. Yeah. And then a second one just goes, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> and he's like, yeah. really? Yeah. We're gonna go there? And then obviously we get the, the family rescue with everyone with their custom weapons, like Vinny with a shotgun, yeah. Paul Walker with like the M16 doing the proper military shooting style. Yep. And then, and yeah. Of course, because he came back, Vince stops. Yep. yep. <laughs> In the most family way possible. It's like, you need to take care of my son. And Vin Diesel's mm -hmm. like, I promise. And yeah. Vince just, Bleh. I got eyes on Nico. Eyes <laughs> on Nico. It's a good line. It, it is. I just. And then, of course, it. he has to say, I named him after you. And it's like, oh, God. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah. So then we get fueled by anger and screw the plan. We're just going to steal it. The last half of the movie is mm -hmm. <laughs> an insane vault heist that I knew about. You know, we talked about it in the intro of this episode that. You had said, like, boy, I, I sort of wish you hadn't known about stealing mm -hmm. a vault. And I literally all I know was they steal a vault and something happens through the city. I didn't when they hook up the first car to it, I'm like, all right, that's cool. We're gonna like drag it through wherever. That's gonna be interesting. Yeah, do a little drag and then steal it later down the line kind of thing. Yeah, and then they hook up the second off. car. You and don't I was just expect like, a forty minute chasing. Yeah, and like they hook the up the second car things. and I'm like Okay, yeah, all right, I'm here for this. I'm here for two cars. And immediately that first turn they take with the two cars and the and vault goes... swings super wide and like goes through a building. I'm like, this is the this is the coolest thing I've seen in a really long time. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. This is one of those movies where I wish we could swear yeah. because there are so many old... Holy poops moments. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just or one after another. Moments. Where it's like, did you guys just destroy a bank? And it's like, yeah, man. Yep. Like, you should have seen that last shot. Like, that vault tore through that bank. 
and the um, the alley that they have to go through, and to stop the safe, they do the split up and hit uh, two cars into each other with the safe yep. to stop it. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> almost <laughs> all practical. All yeah. It looks incredible. I don't know how many cars they destroyed in this sequence. And, like, every car they hit with that vault, it just gets deleted. Like, they mm -hmm. just, like, five pieces are left, and they're little pieces of shrapnel. Like, they just... Like, the barrel roll. It barrel rolls around the corner, and then, like, <laughs> corner first embeds itself into, the, like, an SUV. And yeah. then it gets pulled off it, and then there's just nothing left at the front of that SUV. And it's just, like... <laughs> Just so like a tin can. Dead. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, and I, it's so interesting because it's so. It couldn't be more the opposite from the tunnel chase scene from four, mm -hmm. like where that didn't make any sense and was just a CG blur. This is very much like, look, we have two cars that have been the the butt end of them has been reinforced, and mm -hmm. they're just tearing this giant vault through Rio and. Nobody cares what's getting in the way because it's just getting destroyed by this thing. And it's one of and it's an incredible action sequence because you know exactly what's going on at every single shot. And there's uh -huh. there's never confusion about like well, how did they even get here? Like where are where are they? Where's what's happening? It all of it makes sense and it's incredibly well done. Yep, I absolutely adore this sequence. It's probably my favorite sequence in the entire series. Yeah. Because it's kind of impossible to beat. I mean, <laughs> off the top of your head, can you think of anything that can be literally dragging a multi-ton safe down the streets and using it like a flail? Like, yeah. they <laughs> just... They, they destroy so much stuff with it. And it, it's the whole two precision driver jokes come back because yeah. it's like they know exactly what to do, how to do it, when to do it. And they just do it on instinct. Right. And all the meanwhile, you've had the rock go in and arrest the, the lead guy who's in the police station for being crooked. Right, and then right. there's this huge sequence, and it's like all of these dirty cops get taken out one after another, after another, after another. I love the the. <laughs> we'll get to to the, the the specific thing in a minute, but I love the yeah we're getting over overloaded here. And mm. then there's Han and there's Roman in cop <laughs> uniforms in cop cars. <laughs> Yeah, just destroying everybody who's left. I I love that multiple people in the crew have really embraced dressing for the part because uh, mm -hmm. that's so important. I feel like in most heist movies that they focus on we got to get the uniform, we have to make sure it's right, and everything. And this one's just like, no, they're dressed up as cops. They're dressed up as other people. Like we just, they're playing the part. Mm -hmm. it's, it's and it's so like. Good. Um, good afternoon, officer. License and registration, please, from Roman. Might be one of the best deliveries as he just rams people off the road. Yep. And then without knowing you get the switch out, you get the switch out. Right. Did you catch it the first time you saw it? No, or? I no, I didn't because they do such a good job of... I think you they mask it with the, the viewer's the excitement of... Well, in, in the movie, they mask it with the bridge, but I think they mask it with the viewers excitement of like Han and uh, Roman just got them so much time they're in the clear we can kind of take a, a breather now but mm -hmm. that's the moment when the the switch off happens yeah and then we get the huge bridge which they're, they're going down the bridge whatever they're not going to get away they're not quick enough Vin Diesel sends Paul Walker on his way and then we get our very first nos of the movie <laughs> And when 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 the camera zooms out a little bit and the Nas is just at the bottom of the frame, it's just like, yeah, man, all right, mm -hmm. yeah. And then it it does the backward shot and it shows like just Vin Diesel with the one car trying to pull a safe. He hits the first one, the blue flames come out and it just slowly starts rolling forwards. Yeah, cuts back to him in the cockpit and he flips the second one and all of a sudden it's <laughs> wheelie, let's go. <laughs> yeah. It's just like three or four fast saga moments all at once. Where it's like, yeah, man. It's, this is still super cool. Mm -hmm. And he plays uh, again flail slash conquers with the uh, the only set load of the people who's left. Yep. Great. I love the fact that by the way that the second in command for the bad guys always got away by the skin of his teeth. Like, yes. Everyone around him was always dead, and then he'd just appear in a frame and go, uh, and then walk away. <laughs> yep. And then you get the minigun from the SUV. Great little moment. That's right. Yep. All of the cop cars get knocked off the bridge, 
And then, yeah, he does the swinging around, hit the brakes, jump out the car, everything's going to die kind of thing. And that guy still is alive. The yeah. second in command is still alive. Paul Walker shows up and shoots him. Yep. And then Reyes crawls out the car as the rock arrives. And it's a great moment because there's no talking. So good. There's no communication. There's no nothing. He literally, as he's walking past the main bad guy, he just pulls out his his gun, which is, of course, like a 50 caliber huge revolver. Yeah, like a desert, just desert like, eagle. Yeah, and he's just like, pop, pop, you're done. Gun back he away. Even Let's break just stride. Go. Nope. <laughs> he's just he's just all oh, so right that good. job's over mm-hmm. yep it's it's such a good moment because it's just like you're not even you're not even my focus you don't deserve any of my time yeah it's so good yeah. and then you get like the conversation you burned yourself 24 hours but the money stays kind of thing i i kind of liked that because it it showed that hobbs isn't a man without principles you know he's not mm-hmm. he's not totally um He's not totally. He's not a Im- robot. Yeah, he's not a robot. Like he's not totally immune to the how the family is doing things. That now that he's known the charms more. of the family. <laughs> That's right. The charms of the family. Um, and I thought that was really good because it's like I'm still coming for you, and you don't get what you wanted, but we'll play this cat and mouse stuff. for a little bit longer. Make peace with your demons. Yeah. 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 And then I love the fact that like they're okay. They're, they're like cool, and then they drive off. And then him and Helena check the safe, and the safe yep. is just empty. Well, not even as empty. Like, it's brand new because it still has that wapping on the inside. Yep. So it's sort of like, oh, okay, yeah, that's did, right. Did you expect them to actually get the money at the end of it? or No, I sort of expected it to be like the end of 4, where it's like, all right, we won, but we sort of didn't get everything we wanted, but, like, everybody's okay. But mm-hmm. as soon as he opened it and there's that brand new safe there, it's like, all right, man. All right, cool. Like, this is, yeah. a, this is a real, like, Ocean's Eleven sort of thing where it's like, no, man, like, we already we already did that. Like, we're, mm-hmm. and They, they we're do done. the flashback to, like, the garbage truck where they deposit the main safe and take away the fake safe. Yep. And yeah, Rock laughs, which I love the fact that he just finds it so funny that they got away with it. It's it's yep. a really good moment. And the money montage. This is a movie full of montages. Yes. Yeah. The money montage is so good. Like, I love that piece of music that they use. Like, I've seen this movie like 50 times and every single time I'm like bopping along with the music at like four <laughs> specific points. And this yep. is one of them. Yep. Or it's just like, cool. Show what everybody does with their money. That's perfect. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, probably my favorite part is uh, Tej and Roman saying, like, oh, this is the only car in the Western Hemisphere. And he's like, well, I guess, I guess there must be two. two. <laughs> yeah, just, um, yeah uh, that's that's fantastic. Um, I love the Han and Giselle where they're in Germany the driving Autobahn. east. Um, <laughs> and it's just like, oh, I thought you wanted to go back to Tokyo. I was like, we'll get there eventually. Oh, right, and I was just like, oh. oh, okay. Putting it all together. Putting it, I mm-hmm. like I like, I like that they don't ever go out of the way where it's like ten months before Tokyo Drift. It's like, no, nah, man, you f- you can figure it out. Mm-hmm. We put all the yeah. pieces in there. It's it's a great montage. It's a great ending. It's and I, and then, I like the the very end with um, when Helena shows up. Yeah, like she shows up with uh, Vin, and you know uh, Mia is very clearly much more pregnant, and they're just kind of. They're just kind of hanging out and catching up. And then, of course, O'Connor can't let that race go. Nope. He's like, how about, how about we do it one more time? <laughs> yep. And it's like, yeah. no, nobody else, no money, no wages, just you and me. Yeah. Can you handle the disappointment? Can you? Mm-hmm. That's how we roll. <laughs> Credits. We roll like this. <laughs> and what did you think of the Stinger? Uh, so, <clears throat> number one. It is very funny to see the rock behind a desk. It's just wearing like, a polo shirt. <laughs> just like this this yeah. mountain of a guy, like, oh, I gotta do this paperwork, gotta gotta fill out the paperwork. And then of course Eva Mendez pops in. Mm-hmm. She's just like, Hey man, uh, by the way, I work here, whatever. Uh maybe you should look at this and look at it again. And then of course it's Letty and it's just like, Oh, right, 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 right. You had to find some way to bring her back. Do you believe in ghosts? Thank goodness. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 that to me is the way you do one of these things where it's like, here's this return to form movie for the Fast Saga. 
And then there's still this one leftover thread that Mm -hmm. at the very end, you're just going to pull a little bit and say like, I guess we'll see you next time, huh? It's like, ah. Yep. Uh, Fun fact, um, Michelle Rodriguez Mm -hmm. didn't know about that scene until she watched the movie in theaters. (laughs) That must be really cool. <laughs> We're just like, hey, yep. that's me. Wait, I'm back. Hey, all right. <laughs> yep. She talked about it when doing like uh, behind the scenes stuff for six. She's mm-hmm. like, nobody told me it was going to happen. <laughs> it literally, I saw it at the theaters in the premiere with everybody, and like nobody said a word to me about it. That's really great. Mm hmm. Oh, man. Fast Five is really good. So I'm guessing number one on the list. Uh, yeah, I would say pretty easily. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, it's so funny because like the last line of my notes here it says obviously the whole vault heist was awesome and then like I just didn't take a break from watching it until the the little stinger was over and it's just yeah like I said it's a it's really the first fast saga movie with a budget and I think so much of that so much of the this it feels like the studio is all in for the fast saga now as opposed to just a bunch of fast movies and i think i I can't remember who said it but before this one it felt like an ip yeah very much so throw throw fast on that like just throw that on it whereas now it feels like a franchise yeah and, and i think the the commitment from the studio and the increased budget and the score and especially how much better literally everybody is including gal gadot at acting mm-hmm. is like she a jump taken... between the last one and this one is insane it really and is everybody like we talked in four how it felt like everybody was finally settling into their characters yep. this feels like they are those characters like yep. this is the 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 one where it's like yeah Everybody gets it. Everybody knows who they are. And like you said, like Gal Gadot, like you, this is the movie where you say, now I get why she goes on to become Wonder Woman. Yeah. Now I get where that progression comes from. Like, yeah. She really jumps up a lot in this. And I'll be honest, her jump doesn't stop here. She is so much better in six. Like she oh, jumps nice. again to be so much better. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And even like, um, uh, Roman is really great. Like you can tell he, it, it almost felt like some of these actors in previous movies were a little bit nervous. And mm-hmm. like you said, they they finally settled into who these characters are, and they they they're really playing these roles really well. Yeah. God, it, there's just it, it's so good, and there's I feel like there's kind of nothing to complain about, even like little nope. nitpicky things. It's just like, yeah, you guys the- made a hell of a movie. The only thing I've heard people complain about, and it's kind of written off in the movie in one line, is when did Tej suddenly become a master hacker? Oh, sure. <laughs> I had a life before I knew you guys. It's like, yep, like, good enough that's for the me. Line. That's sure. literally the one line that writes the whole yeah. thing off. It's, it's like, one of those things where it's like, good enough for me. That's fine. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. I, I, I'm glad they have a tech guy. That's absolutely fine. Tej can be the tech guy. Yep. He probably needed something other than the gambling wheeler dealer kind of dude he was in the right. second one. Who's the worst driver ever? Like, <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know, I did. This movie moves. Like it's two hours and change. Yeah. It does not take a breath. And I think we talked about in in two felt like a whole like really a big long character sequence, then small action, and mm-hmm. then. Tokyo Drift was a, a better mix of action sequence, character, action sequence, character. Yeah. This is just action with a sprinkling of character sequences here <laughs> and there. It's like two minute character sequence, 20 minute action sequence, two minute character yeah. sequence. But the character sequences that they do are real deep, meaningful sequences. It, there yeah. is nothing like nothing dusty about them. It's not tiny little things. It's big moments like the conversation about the dads between... Yeah. Vin and Paul Walker. That's a great moment. Like you learn about Mia's dad and his relationship with his dad, and also gives you more explanation as to why he reacted the way he did when his dad was put into the wall in the first one. Right. Like it gives you more depth than that, and it also lets you know that yeah, Paul Walker was probably troubled as a kid. Like his like yeah. Brian was probably a questionable kid, which is actually ripe for both criminal and cops. Like that's a right. well known recruiting tactic for both. 
I, well, there's it, even that little short scene when Vince comes back for the chip and he like marches right over there and immediately knows where it is. And Vin Diesel's like, I really wish I hadn't seen that. It's just like mm -hmm. there, there's so much behind so many of these, like you said, two minute long sequences that they're they're very impactful. And I, I feel like there's so much less cheesy than a lot of mm -hmm. the other movies where those were sort of charming in a way. But these we are hungry. So <laughs> yeah, exactly and it's like in in this one it just it feels like it's so much there, there's such a huge leap between the first four movies and this one that it's 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 really crazy yeah and i adore this movie this is in my opinion this is the best in the series oh wow uh, okay six is number two for me oh, okay but i don't think anything touches this movie because this is even if, you, like, it helps that we have the background that we've just watched all the four leading up to it. Yeah. We've, hit, we've hit the middles, the lows, and the highs. <laughs> and then you come to this one. And not only if you watch it standalone, that's fine. It's a really good standalone movie. But when you've got that extra little knowledge about the background, mm -hmm. like, Vince is back. Like, that's a really... He, at the end of the day, he doesn't really matter. But they don't ever make a reference to the fact that really he was from the first movie yeah because a lot of other movies would have shown like that backyard barbecue from the first one and like it'd been mm -hmm. sepia toned and been like oh vince come join us at the table and it'd be like yeah no, man he's here if you remember him cool if you don't like whatever yeah they throw they throw reference out like you're saying grace that's a reference to the yep. first one yep. you know, this is rome he's the guy who pulled that job with down in miami yeah, that's uh, an entire movie described in one sentence. <laughs> yeah, ah, uh, it's so good. I I just I I went in to the movie with fairly high expectations because the thing you hear about this movie is, hey, this is my favorite Fast Saga movie by uh you know a quarter mile. <laughs> <laughs> um, but watching it that first time was just sort of like man this is really something special like this is an incredible action movie a really great heist movie all of it kind of wrapped up into one yeah and then it's... i watched it again on a i watched it the first time on my phone and then i wanted to watch it the second time on like a bigger tv um and boy that movie looks real good <laughs> yep yes it does like, it's incredible <laughs> I, and I'm, I'm probably guessing this is the first one that you've watched twice like, I'm sure you uh, didn't watch it. Yes. Really. Yeah. Yeah. The other ones, because um, my level of excitement about this was so strong that we record this on Sunday, Monday night, like the next opportunity I had to watch it. As soon as I went to bed and like everybody was settled in, I immediately started. And I was like, I, oh, I got to watch this. And like, well, I li the, literally, the next when day we finished I watched recording, it. I watched it the second we finished recording. <laughs> nice. I went downstairs and I watched it and then I tweeted. He was like, yeah, I'm done with Fast Five. Yeah, I, I would have done that had I not had to edit, but yeah, it, mm -hmm. I'm, it's really great. And I'm really looking forward to the next one, just to continue the fast saga. Um, yep, the and reboot it is, continues. Yeah, it is a real bummer, a little peek behind the scenes. It's a real bummer that um, Fast 9 got delayed by about a year, because um, it, it would have been in theaters around the time we would have gotten there in, with this. in this series. Yeah. So. Uh, that's a little bit of a bummer, but uh, okay. Well, that's uh, that's wrapping up Fast Five <laughs> and our recent uh, family movies. So uh, we'll see everyone next episode for the next movie. Bye. Uh